before they can be on the street, the guests will be here, and the Empress will have made the presentation. Oh, forgive me. May I? You may even give me one. Thank you. The stairs aren't doing that dress any good. It doesn't matter. It will in an hour. I haven't seen you in a long time. And you missed me terribly. I missed you, yes. Whose orders kept you from seeing me? The Empress's or Paul's? Apparently, it has never occurred to you that I can function without orders from anyone. Then you didn't want to see me. Why? I thought it better not to. And the marriage rumors are true. You yourself told me that Paul and I were engaged years ago. Aren't you taking your royal duties a bit too seriously? Independently, you mean. The puppet has pulled the strings herself. This is childish. You've always had an obsession that people want you to do only what they tell you. Well, not people. You. Nonsense. Is it? You pushed me at Paul. And now you're against him. Why? Are you afraid that he's going to be in control? Over what? Over me? Over the money? I don't give a hang about the money. Well, then what is bothering you? That I might be Anna Cora? I don't care what your name is. I care what you are. And what bothers me is the way you've changed. I'm the one who's changed. Yes. When we began, you merely wanted to find out who you were. You said that was all you wanted. Yes, I What said... is it? No. Now you must be the Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna. Now you must be placed upon a throne before a morgue of royal corpses. Must you always hate? Must you always ridicule? Ridicule who? Your loyal, loving subjects? Those embalmed skeletons? They don't care about you. They don't care who is Anastasia, so long as they can get some money in a better position in a world that is dead and buried and should be. You didn't say that a month ago. Then you wanted it, and you wanted it for me. Well, now I like it. Go on, like it. Be a Grand Duchess. And make it really royal, and marry a man who wouldn't come within ten feet of the altar if you were not an heiress. Oh, the truth is insulting. You told me once that I was selfish and ambitious, and I admitted that you were right. Why don't you now have the courage to admit that I'm right? Remember? What? The music, this waltz. Yes, of course. No, you don't really. Sorry, should I? No, it was a long time ago. My first waltz, my first ball, my first... What? Partner. I thought it was you. It must have been somebody else. It might have been me. It really doesn't matter. It might not even have been at the ball. Frankly, I don't understand you. Why? Because I didn't deny what Vlado said? Yes. How do you know that I'm not Anna Corey? Be serious. I am. You're deliberately behaving very strangely tonight. How do you know how Anna Corey behaves? I know how you behave, and all I care about is you. Do you mean that? Of course. Then let's announce our engagement tonight. I want to very much. Prince Paul von Haraldberg to Miss Anna Corey. Will you announce that? Certainly not. Ah. Uh, because it's not true. No? Suppose I have no title, no inheritance, nothing. I can't suppose that when I know perfectly well who you are. Stan, what if I can't get the money? Or if I make no claim to it? You can and you will. Why be poor when you could so easily be very rich? The poor have only one advantage. They know when they are loved for themselves. Sorry, but I refuse to take that remark seriously. The Empress is ready. She's upstairs in the green room. Good. It's almost time. All right. Oh, Petr Ivanch, should I not be back in time? Why not? Just go ahead without me. Sergei Pavlovich, isn't this all superb? I have never seen you look so well. In this? Oh, they don't know how to make baggage nowadays. Imagine trying to fit this into a nasty little modern suitcase. Oh, the times aren't suited for elegance, but you have brought it back, so suave. But what's the matter? You look upset. No, just I. Would you ask Her Majesty if she would receive me for just a moment? You know I will. General, General. 
You may go in. It's very kind of you. But just in case. She's heard about the reporters. Thank you. Vasily, Her Majesty is expecting the general. I was going to send for you, Bunyin. My granddaughter tells me to expect some unpleasantness in the newspaper. I'm afraid so, Your Majesty. Thank you. The man was probably a hired troublemaker. Well, Her Highness says that actually... I am aware what she says. Unfortunately, she is not aware that truth serves only a world that lives by it. I have prepared a statement for the press that I want you to give to them before you leave tonight. I am leaving now, Your Majesty. Oh, and why? I feel that my work is finished, satisfactorily, I trust. And since this is your evening, I felt it my duty. No, that isn't quite true. I simply wanted to say goodbye to you. Extraordinary. You want to leave before the spectacle. I should have thought no one would watch it with more triumph than you. If the evening belongs to anyone, General, it is to you. We are all grateful. Thank you, Your Majesty, but I want no further part in it. Come, after all, you performed an enormous task. You've restored my granddaughter to her rightful position. And unless I have been misinformed, you even affected her reunion with her childhood sweetheart. Yes, to a degree, I suppose I did. But you're not particularly pleased with it, are you? Your Majesty. You're not pleased. Why not? But I'm not in a position. Oh, come. After all, it's extremely unlikely to speak of position, Bunyan. When I am with Your Majesty, I am deeply aware of it. Thank you. Then I request you answer. If it is what Her Highness the Grand Duchess really desires, why, then I must be pleased. But for myself, no, I am not pleased. <laughs> we should not only have given you that title, we should have made you an ambassador. How deviously you have arrived at what you wanted to say. And even now you don't say it. You have not given me even a piece of string to hang you with. Sergei Pavlovich, what do you wish to ask? Why do you try to ask me? Why have you not asked her? Often what is difficult for others is simple for me. But what has always been the simplest for others is impossible for me. I made the attempt, Your Majesty. But it became translated into anger. You are less of a knave than I thought, but very much more of a fool. Yes? Excuse me, Your Majesty, it's time. So soon. Bunyan, I want you to wait for me here. This time it is a command. Will you? Yes, Your Majesty. I will. Your Majesty, I cannot wait for you to look down into the ballroom. You'll weep absolute tears. Everyone's there, and the gowns and the uniforms. It's incredibly like it used to be. Yes, I can smell the moth balls. Your Imperial Majesty, I beg you. Excuse me. If Your Majesty will permit me to explain the ceremony and to... Even bomb. We discussed the ceremony this morning. <laughs> yes, but... Uh... The but we'll discuss later. Yes, Baroness. <laughs> How lovely you are. Are you having a good time? Yes, Grandmama. Where is Paul? He's dancing with the Princess of Falkenburg. He dances very well. Yes, very well. And he's very handsome. Yes, he's handsome. Your Majesty, a thousand apologies. Your Majesty, it is time. If they have waited ten years, they should not mind waiting ten minutes more. Liebenbaum, I want to speak to my granddaughter alone. Out, gentlemen, out! Where is Boonin? It is just like him to disappear when he is really needed. All right, ladies. Count. Liebenbaum, that gentleman you are so fond of, see that he does not leave the green room. Yes, Your Majesty. They're whirling in delight down there. Yes. Come here. Let me put it on for you. <laughs> you got tired of it already? It's just that I'm not used to one. Takes time. Are you sure about Paul? I, I like him very much. Why do you stammer? I was surprised by the suddenness of the question. If you love, the answer is always ready. I've been asked to announce your engagement tonight. Are you sure you want me to? I want to marry. Why? I suppose I want the belonging, the closeness. Am I selfish? No, but do you want all this with Paul? I think it would please you, Grandmama. And anything that would please you would please me. Do you know you are talking exactly like Bunyan? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Anastasia Nikolaevna, you don't really want to marry Paul. 
I don't know. You do know. Because you really want someone else. Do I? Maybe. Except that all this time, the only thing I thought I really wanted was you. That you already have, and it's not enough. Nor should it be. No one can blame me for living with my dear phantoms. But you, you must find the things from which other women make their happiness. S sit here for just one moment longer. <laughs> Liebenbaum says things are just as they used to be down in the ballroom. She is foolish. The world moves on, Malyunkaya, and we must move on with it or be left to molder with the past. I am the past. I like it. It's sweet and familiar. And the present is cold and foreign. And the future? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't need to concern myself with that. But you do. It's yours. Unfasten this for me, will you please? Take his emeralds? Yes, I want to give them to you. Grandmama, you have given me what no one else in the world could. Myself. Thank you. Here, yeah, yeah. you'd better fix it yourself. Go into the green room. Liebenbaum will help you. Yes, Grandma. Hurry. There's not much time. Forgive me, Your Majesty. Yes? What is it? I thought you'd like to know that the gentleman no longer waits alone. Good. I suppose we shall have to go on with the performance. Bring in the jesters. Yes, Your Majesty. Ladies and gentlemen. Baroness. Oh, Your Majesty, I beg you. We cannot keep them waiting any longer. May we proceed now? Yes, yes, proceed. Oh, Majesty. Oh, uh, the musicians, all arranged. Good. Take your position by the curtains. Yes, sir. Hey! Straighten your tie. And you, Excellency, please don't forget all the names are loud, strong, clear. Don't worry. Oh, thank you, Excellency. Uh, ladies, get ready. Where is, uh... Where is Prince Paul? I've told you twice, he's coming. Twice, and three times you've told me you cannot find Bunyan. I also told you that he yes, says... Yes, yes, to go ahead without him. Well, I say there is something unbalanced with him tonight. And the sooner we think... Oh, yeah, your highness. Your majesty. I've never seen you look like this before. I have never felt like this before. It is time. Petrovin, would you be so kind as to inform Her Imperial Highness, the Grand Duchess, that... We are ready. Right away. Hurry. Baroness, uh, the procedure. Just to refresh your memory as to what we discussed this morning. Do you think my mind is failing? <laughs> Baroness. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a... a drum roll. After that, Her Imperial Majesty, the Dowager Empress, will come forward. And when she passes through the curtains, the orchestra will strike up our national anthem. After that, the Grand Duchess is caught in by gone. his Highness. She has gone. Gone? Gone where? What is she talking about? She's not there. I looked all over. I tell you, she has oh, gone. This is impossible now. I mean, she must be. Silence. You have looked in the green room? Yes, Your Majesty. There is no one there. No one. Well, perhaps she went to her room. Quick, send you somebody. You won't find her. It's a waste of time. They've both gone. Both? She and your friend Bunyan. Bunyan? But why? I don't understand. You never did. You mean the others were right? She was not Anastasia, after all. Wasn't she? Your Majesty, I beg you. They're all waiting down there. What shall we say to them? What can we say to them? Nothing. Paul, your arm. I will speak to them. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Everybody, please. Forgive me, Aunt Marie, but what will you say? Say? Oh, I will say, the play is over. Go home.